Dew points are tropical out there. In the mid 70s, that's normal for Florida, that's normal for the Gulf Coast states, but not normal for here at all. The only place that we're seeing any comfort is here by the lake in the Twin Ports, a dew point of 61, not too bad. But dew point of 76, 75 in Big Fork, that is very oppressive and a very, very muggy. It feels tropical out there for a majority of our viewers. So the dew point meter, how long is this muggy air gonna last? Well, the good news is for those that don't like the humidity, only till Sunday. Sunday, we'll see those dew points drop in the afternoon. But if you do like the humidity, you get it all weekend long. By the time we get to next week, we're gonna see much more comfortable and pleasant conditions with dew points in the 50s. So let's track out these thunderstorms, these severe thunderstorms that will be moving through the area. So this is 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, starting to get into the western reaches of our viewing area. International Falls getting on it right around sunrise. By the time it gets to the Duluth, it should be right around 7 to 9 a.m. So right around 8 a.m., you can see temperatures in the mid-70s, so it's staying mild and it's staying warm, but we're also seeing that chance for some severe weather, again, around 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we could keep the chance for thunderstorms, but they will be more spotty. So the greatest chance is in the morning hours. The afternoon, we have a chance for thunderstorms, but they'll be much more spotty, and we keep the humidity, and temperatures will also get pretty warm in the low 80s. Sunday morning, this is Sunday at 3 a.m., so Saturday night, early Sunday morning, another round of some rain and thunderstorms. This round is associated with a cold front, so they could be strong as well. You could see some more severe weather, again, Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And that will clear out by Sunday afternoon, Sunday at 3 p.m. Much more clear skies, and also that cold front is what will lower that humidity. So it'll be a, a, a nice sight for those people that don't like uh, all that humidity. So here is how much rain that I'm thinking. So this is the first round through Saturday afternoon, upwards of a half an inch in Duluth. Looks like the majority of the rain will fall to the west. The second round of rain is when we'll see it through uh, Sunday morning, once that cold front goes through. And that is adding a lot more rain, places like Hayward, Duluth getting another half inch or so, uh, total up to an inch. Some places could see three or four inches, so flash flooding could be a risk. And severity risk, well, it's just a low risk. Last weekend, we had moderate to high risks of severe war storms, a little bit lower for uh, this weekend's severe weather. Forecast for tonight, 71 degrees for a low temperature tonight. So like I said, very uncomfortable, very mild on top of the hill. Uh, down in Wisconsin, again, very uncomfortable. Not a good night to have, uh, not to not have an AC, as we will be staying in the 70s for temperatures. Tomorrow, getting into the low to mid 80s with those severe storms, mainly in the morning, but a 70% chance will last throughout the day with more spotty storms in the, the afternoon. And then by the time we get to early next week, the humidity breaks and temperatures are much more pleasant.